Alright guys, I just uh, picked up my flywheel from the speed shop. I had it resurfaced. I ordered a center force dual friction clutch disc, a pressure plate, the throw up bearing, the disc itself. At the speed shop, they balance the assembly to the flywheel. I just want to show you a tip, a trick, how to get your brass bushing out, your pilot bushing for your transmission. A lot of guys will pump this full of grease and then they'll take a bolt that's undersized or they grind off the threads and they'll beat it with a hammer and that slowly the grease forces out that bushing. Um, kind of messy but it works so if you like doing that method cool. I just thought I would show you something that I learned. I just take a half inch bolt and I'll take my hammer and I just give it a couple taps because it's just a brass bushing. Them threads start. I take my ratchet. I turn that bolt in. The bolt bottoms out on the crank face. And then you just uh, tighten it up. And there's your bushing. Comes out. No grease, no mess. So anyway, so uh, my dad showed me this trick. And uh, it works pretty good. So I like it better than the grease method. He showed me that trick too. And uh, comes right off, you're done. You can still reuse your bolt for something else. But uh, I like this method. So anyway, so that's my big message for you. I'm pretty much done for tonight. All right, I'm going to install my uh, transmission pilot bushing. And uh, if you notice, there is two sides to this. There's a flat side, which is flat. That goes against the back of the motor. This side has a little taper to it. That goes facing your transmission. Your transmission input shaft slips into that. Uh, the way I install these, I just grab a socket that matches the same diameter. And I just use a rubber mallet tap it in. This is my alignment tool. You can buy one, plastic one. This is just a broken input shaft. I broke some teeth off of this right here. So I just use this. So I put my bushing in there, put my shaft in there, make sure she spins freely, that she's not tight. This is awesome. You notice how there's already oil coming out of the bushing onto the tip of the input shaft right there. It's an impregnated oil round bushing. So you really don't need to put grease on your input shaft. balance my pressure plate clutch disc assembly on a flywheel and they spray painted assembly once it's balanced this green dot so there's that mark and then on the pressure plate here's the uh, other green spray paint mark right there so that's how I'm going to line it up and then you got your clutch disc this is a dual friction the instructions tell you which way it goes right here you can see Flywheel side, the sticker's already on there. What we're going to do, we're going to measure this flywheel and plug it into a little formula, and then that will tell us how much we have to adjust our adjustable pivot ball inside of our bell housing to achieve the uh, proper alignment. This is where the clutch disc rides on the surface. You want to set that down on a bench, flat. We're just going to use our little veneer caliper where the flywheel bolts the crankshaft. We're going to measure down to the friction surface of the flywheel. Okay, 
So we're just gonna measure down right through the flywheel bolt hole. Measure down. Seven seven five. Seven seven five. So write that number down. 0.775. Here's the number you need for the formula. Now you're going to use your veneer caliper and you're just going to run it down, put a straight edge across here, go and check out what we have right here. I have 4.505 and my overall I'm supposed to be at 4.565. You have to run the fork pivot ball adjustment down about 60 thousandths and then I'll be right where I need to be. Clutch disc surface down, measure through the bolt hole where the crankshaft mounts, the, the flywheel mounts the crankshaft, measure down, you take that number, subtract it from 0 0.960 and that gives you a number and then that number gets subtracted from 4.750. And then you set your, using a straight edge, set your pivot fork pivot ball to the number you just got. There's one thing I have to do before I install my motor into my car is I gotta check to make sure that the bell housing is aligned properly to the crankshaft. If your bell housing is not aligned to your crankshaft, it causes additional wear to your transmission, to your clutch assembly, pilot bearing, bushing. So it's a good idea while the motor is out of the car to check. Except the tolerances are 0.0002, 0 0.005 or 5 thousandths. Okay, so what I'll do is I will walk you through some steps on how to check out your bell housing alignment and what to do if it's not within 5 thousandths, 0 0.005, okay? All right, so first thing you can do is just uh, bolt on your flywheel and what I do is I leave two bolts out of the flywheel and that's where I'm going to stick my mag base with my dial indicator, all right? So now the next step is we're going to bolt on the scatter shield or the bell housing. 